All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to get into Ethereum. A lot of people are like, oh, no, it's the end of the world. Ethereum just dropped 10%. Guys, no, it's it's not the end of the world. It's called, that's what happens when you pump like crazy like this. You got to have a drawbacks and retracements. That, that's got to happen. I mean, we, we just literally went straight up, almost straight up from 116 all the way to 650, some some exchanges have it as high as 660. So let's get into the breakdown of what the future of Ethereum is looking like, what's the price predictions, and let's get into it. First, let's get into our wisdom one-liners. Um, this is saying 11, uh, Proverbs chapter 23, verse 10 and 11. Do not move an ancient boundary stone or encroach on the fields of the fatherless. For the defender is strong, he will take up their case against you. Hi. Um, <laughs> it is a wisdom one lighter. Um, maybe it has different meanings to different people. Um, but what it has to me is if my father or someone has put something there for a reason, well, it, it's there for a reason. If your dad says, hey, don't go move that, or hey, don't go do that, or hey, don't touch, well, everyone knows about this, don't touch the thermostat. You guys know who you are. There's a reason he's saying don't touch it. He left it there for a reason. Saves money on the power bill. Uh, that's what I take from it. But hey, there's different meanings from it. So let's get into it. So you guys are like, oh no, Ethereum, what's going on? Let's look at the Ethereum price prediction. You got one guy saying it's eighty or $80,000. You got another guy who's like, eats price prediction. And you watch his video and it's like, oh, well, here in the short term, it might crash. Ethereum, $10,000. Uh, Bitcoin bears in, um, I don't even, in control. Oh, Bitcoin bears in control, analysis and targets. Important zone. Guys, no one knows. <laughs> There's a reason it's called a prediction. No one knows what it's going to do. But I can tell you what it's going to do in the long run. In the long run, it's most likely going to go up. This is not financial advice. This is just what I see. You guys take it how you see it on what you want or what what you see, but I'm looking at the chart analysis. I mean, previously it was up to here. I'm not expecting it to go there. Obviously past performance doesn't make future results, but I look a lot at uh, Fibonacci retracements and so do several other traders. But if you look at the retracement lines, um, let's see, start with the bottom to this top. These will show you the different retracements. So between this bottom and this top, this shows like the 382 line was a pretty strong, strong resistance for this. So it bounced off the 382. Usually the 0.5, I did a video on this to explain FIB retracements and what they mean. But the 0.5 is usually like a turning point. So if you see like 0.68 to 1, this is more of like a, a bearish channel. But as soon as it approached this 0.5, it said, bye bye, I'm going up. <laughs> And then it went into a bullish sentiment. That's why you saw when it started going down, and it was like, all right, bears and bulls, bears and bulls, the battling, battling, what's going to happen? And what happened was they beat out the channel and went back up. So now we created a new channel. So let's see. It's hard to do fib retracements on um, something that's just gone parabolic like this. This is literally gone parabolic. So you can kind of see in this retracement that it's still had as soon as it bounced or it hit that uh, 0.5 level, that's when it just exploded. Because again, if you say this is starting from um, the trough and going to the peak, you can see it, it just boosted and exploded. So now let's look at another fib retracement and we'll go from this trough to this peak. So you can see now here, it's a little confusing. We'll get rid of this one so you guys can see a little better. Come on. This is on trading view, so you guys can play around with it too. So you can kind of see, look, we're getting close to that 0.5 line. Um, that 0.5 is big support, big time support. So th that's just the um, Fibonacci line. So right here, you can see it's kind of our support. Every time, look, went up, bounced. Somewhat bounce, but retrace and turn back up. Same thing. This is where it was battling out, and this is where it turned bearish. As soon as it passed through this line, this is the trend where it's deciding. The 0.5 is deciding. 0.6 is usually when it turns bearish. 
bounced and went back bearish. Now it's here. Now it bounced, but look, we passed this 0.5 line. So now that means we're we're still in a bullish or bearish. We're deciding what we're going to do, and then it blows through. So you can trade in between these lines if you guys are looking to be a trader. I don't recommend it. But you can see now we're in bullish sentiment right now. We're still bullish. So a lot of people are like, down, up, down, up, down, up. I don't know. So here's your next biggest support line. It's going to be right here around the 600. That's a big support line right now. And then obviously the very next one, whether we're bullish or bearish, is around the 587 line. That's what we're going to be looking at. So if you see what we're looking at overall, you can kind of see we're kind of like a little piglet <laughs> compared to what it used to be. If you look at the overall sentiment, and we'll say, obviously this is previous results, we'll do a fib retracement from, let's just say here, all the way up to here. You can see this is our trading line right here. This is our 0.5. We're get, we get we just passed the 0.5, if you guys can see that line, right here. 0.5 is right here, right on this line, around the 699 mark. It's touching it. So we're still in the quote-unquote compared to the previous uh, season in somewhat of a bearish trend compared to what it was previously. But who knows? It could just blow right through it, just like it did in the other ones. As soon as it blows through that 0.5, the moon. But hey. Who knows? No one knows what it's going to do. But guys, if you're a long-term trader, um, Ethereum, it is a good project. I did a video on it. There's several different cryptocurrencies built on it. This is not financial advice, but when there's several other projects and several other people on the Ethereum blockchain, it's almost like if you guys are wanting to invest, I look at it like this. If you guys gamble in the lottery, don't take the gambling in the lottery. Scratch off that ticket. Don't do that ticket. Save the money. Throw it in Bitcoin or Ethereum. If you guys are all about gambling and you guys are um, gambling your money away on a lottery ticket, why don't you do it in something that you have a, a better chance at than you do in a lottery ticket? So it's not financial advice. This is just what I think I would do. If I was someone who bought lottery tickets, I don't do that because um, I, I have addictive personality. So if I started buying lottery tickets or I don't know what. <laughs> that that would be not a good thing it's just a waste of money don't buy lottery tickets guys that's not financial advice that's life advice so um this is what i think of ethereum what it's going to do um guys this is what i'm seeing on the charts you guys can go with your own research there's different other technical indicators a lot of use a lot of people use fib retracements. I like using fib retracements as well. So if you guys like this video, smash that like button. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Um, subscribing's free, so I'm not charging you anything for that. Who knows? Maybe in the future it might charge. Just kidding, guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.